No, I have been 200. Man. Every time I see him, I get 200 dollars. I love it all. Big me up on the holiday. Every I see how I big him up. Praise is to the Father, God up above. Happy holiday. I go to war, I fight for you. Even when I've left, I do right by you. I be your everything. Your blue sky. Blessing viewers and subscribers, welcome back to another video. Yeah man guys, put God first in everything that you do. Hope everybody is doing good and hope everybody is safe. I'm updating you on a video which, you know, went viral where uh, a guy pulled his weapon on a mentally challenged lady. And you know, a lot of things been saying about the guy. And this is an update about it, my viewers and subscribers. Yeah man, you know, a lot of persons been bashing the guy saying that he shouldn't have pulled his weapon on the lady and this and that but remember guys, there's always three sides to a story so sometimes you have to just wait and see what's going on and what really happened why, you know, the guy pulled his weapon on the mentally challenged lady Well, the firearm instructor Sheldon Neal say had it been a woman who pulled her licensed firearm at a male, you know, maybe where I say, guys, is if if it was a woman pull, you know, the licensed firearm at a male, maybe them wouldn't face so much criticism. You understand my viewers and subscribers? So that Mr. Sheldon Neal is saying, maybe if it was a woman, all of this wouldn't go this far and, you know, she wouldn't be getting any criticism. People would have say she have defend herself and stuff like that, guys. You know how a narrative go, my viewers and subscribers. He was, you know, reacting to an incident caught on camera and calculate on social media showing a man, you know, pulling his weapon at an apparently mental challenge woman who was seen, you know, trailing him, guys. So the woman was trailing him. I don't know what the lady was saying to him, why he feel threatened, but he, the lady must say something to him, guys, why I'm pulling him, 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 him weapon, my viewers and subscribers. You know, so sometimes we just have to wait and see what's really going on because we can't really judge persons, you know, just by looking at one video clip and we don't know what really are going on. The Firearm Licensing Authority, FLA, has confirmed that the man is a licensed firearm holder. So guys, the, the, the man is a licensed firearm holder. You know, it says the man has been called in to surrender his weapon pending the investigation. So the FLA, you know, calling the guy, you know, for investigation. So he must surrender his weapon because through the video went viral, my viewers and subscribers, and a lot of opinion been going on, a lot of persons been saying this and saying that, you know. So maybe that's the reason why they must investigate it. You know my viewers and subscribers and here's some you know voice note that the person from the FLA was saying and I think it's interesting guys you can hear what's going on. You know what's funny about this? We're only having this discussion because it's a male firearm holder and a female vagrant approaching him. If the genders had been reversed, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Mm -hmm. If it was a female firearm holder. Mm -hmm. And what we I want, to, agree. for want of a better word, yes. if it's not politically correct, but let's call it a madman, a vagrant, you know, mm -hmm. a crackhead, approaching her. We wouldn't be having this conversation. I think that the firearm holder did what was best for him. We don't know what his experiences have been. We don't know what he knows, what was in his head. Okay, the, the ending motto is safety first. I think the firearm holder was very safe. I think he did the right thing. Again, according to the video, we see him stepping back, retreating, gesticulating. We see his mouth moving as if to say, you know, stop, step back. He did all he could. I think he did very well. No. How many videos have you seen of actual gunmen? Gunmen doing what? Legal firearm holders. Uh -huh. How many videos have you seen of them? Because we're ready to video the legal firearm holders. Mm -hmm. And we're equally or even more exposed to illegal firearm holders. But nobody videoing them and posting it. The lady 
Mary is, a, I would say, an occupant of New Kingston. And she has aid and proclaims it loudly. Oh. And has a habit of soliciting funds by approaching people and announcing loudly that she has aid and giving people the impression that she will embrace them if she does not get financial support. Your oh, license says right. protection of life on property. The perception of the threat depends on the fullness of the fact, not assumption. Mm -hmm. There's an old saying that if you assume, you make an ass out of you and me. Yes, guys, so Neil is endorsing the action of the licensed firearm holder. So Neil endorsed the firearm holder, my viewers and subscribers. You know, Sheldon Neil firearm instruction peaking on the news source last evening. In the meantime, security consult consultant Robert Finzie Smith is suggesting that people are more willing to videotape licensed firearm holders using their weapon than gunmen with illegal guns. Oh my God! Well, that's that's a lot of you know that's a lot of truth, dear my viewers and subscribers. Yeah, man, a true guys because when you really look into it, we rather glorify them more. You know, you know how it go, my viewers and subscribers. Them glorify the gunman, them with them illegal gun, and when them see stuff like this, them video hit and them say the worst things about the person. Them when time them not even know say the person them a firearm license holder so sometimes guys we can't to judge people you know people have to secure themselves people have to protect themselves in a this country because me and you both know viewers from the diaspora and everywhere else in our world jamaican we know how this country run you understand so sometimes we now have to be more productive when it comes to certain things like these guys and you know give them a strength you know guys we can't just bash them all the time yes guys so he said the woman seen in the video is alleged to have a habit of threatening to infect people with a disease so i've been seeing on social media guys that person been saying that this lady you know every time he see person at the the atm machine and stuff like that begging them money she always I said she had got infect them with you know HIV and all of all of those type of stuff guys allegedly because that I will be hearing a video guys where they must say so it's not like me get the information and say yes she really has said that for true but most person is saying you know she a threatened persons for for give them the disease and all of that stuff so maybe that's why you know the guy you know maybe draw him firearm just by you know to protect himself from whatever she was saying so as i'm saying my viewers and subscribers you know sometimes some things really happen and in this country here in jamaica mad our mental ill persons always are getting a problem with civilians either you hear say they chop them up or you hear say this happen or that happen my viewers and subscribers so you know him have all right to try to protect himself guys he never fired the weapon or anything like that so you know kudos to the guy you understand guys because at the end of the day life is more precious than anything else and we have to protect our three points so thank you so much my viewers and subscribers for watching please remember to like subscribe to the video guys you know share the video turn on your post notification bell so whenever we upload video you'll be the first person to get the video yeah man guys thank you so much for watching i'm out i know you told your friend you're not okay and tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way